So, so you, you want to be, be a, a cop, cop watcher. watcher. Cop watcher. Uh, Walk around all day and all night recording cops. Well then, why do you have to record, please? Now I want to see everybody's ID. He understands transparency, right? A lot of times the officers need to be reminded. The officers need to be reminded. The officers need to be reminded. Well, I got a couple suggestions. I'm going to just kind of focus on cop watching since that is what I specifically do. Uh, yes, I have audited uh, on a couple of occasions with um, other people that audit on a regular basis, but I'm going to basically stick to cop watching. But same suggestions can apply to auditing. The difference between cop watching and auditing is I record the police interacting with the public and I go to police stops, scenes, whatever it may be. Um, auditors tend to go to government buildings and um, exercise their right to record and capture, you know, the reaction of government employees um, to people exercising their First Amendment and to see if they, how they react and if they react accordingly. What? It's best if you don't have warrants, but, you know, you do you. If you feel comfortable going out there with warrants and uh, interacting with the police, then go right ahead. Two, if you are driving, I suggest that you have a driver's license, that it is current, and registration and insurance are all up to date. Three, make sure all your lights are working. Brake lights, front lights, driver's license, plate light, signals, all the above. Four, decent camera. I started with a phone camera or something. Once I got a little bit of a following or subscribers, I was fortunate enough to get um, a couple donations and was able to get a GoPro and a, another camera, which I have now donated to somebody else, but I will show you right now what I'm working with. Five, a laptop, a decent laptop or computer. Um, and I suggest you get a external hard drive because video files take up a lot of gigs. Also a decent um, editing program, something you're familiar with. You know, it doesn't have to be like a pro version, but whatever you're familiar with or comfortable with using so that you can do your edits. Six, <laughs> a scanner app is always helpful. You don't have to, but you can download them on your cell phone. I use this one. And I paid the, like, five bucks so I can actually record, so I can have the r recorded audio file for editing later. Seven. <laughs> um, I suggest you come become familiar with the area you intend to record in. Um, if you're always changing, that's a different story. But if, like myself, I film in a specific um, jurisdiction of the LAPD Harbor Division, which covers San Pedro, Wilmington, and Harbor Gateway. Eight, know your state laws. Make sure that you're very familiar with what you can and cannot do if your state has um, like a Turner versus Driver, which my state isn't covered by that, but um, there are certain states with better and more specific guidelines or policy or, you know, rules to recording the police. And it's really good to become familiar with that. You know, in my state, there isn't actually a number of a distance that you have to be away from the scene. I give a comfortable amount of space. Uh, nine, I suggest you begin with a partner so that you have um, backup. And also to give you that support. Personally, like when I started with uh, Daniel, Tom Zebra, I was totally... Uh, totally comfortable with him because I trusted him and I knew he knew what to do. Now, the first time I tried to do it by myself was a little <laughs> less confident, but I started to record with Foxy and once we were recording together, m my confidence grew 
and I, I mean, it's just natural to me now. I don't, I don't have any fears or worries or anything like that. So it's best to start with somebody at least, maybe even a group. Uh, also, also make sure, you know, you can um, connect with other cop watchers or auditors in your area or maybe even out of state. If anybody else has suggestions for a new cop watcher, be my guest and comment below. And so um, good luck and I hope to see your video soon. For your first times cop watching, I think you should take in the experience instead of having to endure the experience on the other side as in being pulled over, having your car towed, being ticketed, being arrested. Honestly, you do you, so if that is actually your um, game plan is to be arrested, then cool. You don't have to have a super fancy camera, but I do suggest if you're posting these videos online that you have a somewhat decent quality camera because grainy or choppy video is hard to keep the viewers watching till the end of your video. So one of the consequences of being a cop watcher is you become a target. So that's just something you're going to have to figure out how to be okay with and deal with it as you see appropriate because you basically are throwing yourself into the lion's den and you just need to be ready for that. Wait, Wait what? what? I record? If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. Also to anyone who would like to make a donation, I have a PayPal link on my channel page. And go ahead and click on that and my email is laurashark126 at gmail.com.